So we start the day by getting up, showering, have some breakfast and some downtime just before training. It's also a good time to prep your lunch for the day uh, and if you want to do some exercise now would be the best time. Then if you are doing training you might do some presentation practice, some concern handling or maybe some mindset work. Um, once the training is done you do a pre-work training journal just to note what was covered in training and this way because it's on the portal we can access it again in the future. By this point the team leader would have assigned area to the team so it's good to double check before leaving that everything's okay with the area in case there's any problems they can just be dealt with at home. Then we pack our bags ready for work making sure we've got our badges, our PDAs, two pens, callback sheets, uh, the personal safety alarm, A4 beneficiaries list, door-to-door -door rule book, authority letter, no call calling guidance. Of course a charge up phone is handy and if you're London's air ambulance don't forget your green card and lastly your PPE. If you don't know what it is you need just ask your team leader. Then once we've done that we grab our uniform, put it in the back of the car along with the bag as we don't wear our uniform until we're actually out fundraising on the doors. When we travel to area with the team, usually front seat goes to the top performer of the previous day. They also get the pleasure of being the DJ for that morning. Once in a central parking location, we grab all of our stuff and head to our designated area. Only then, once we're in the area, do we put our uniform on, check for NCC zones and mark them appropriately on our callback sheets and then start the day. Just a quick reminder to keep a safe distance of two metres where possible for everyone's safety. Also, please do make sure you're sanitising your hands regularly and wiping down your PDA before and after each use. So throughout the day, we'll be filling in our callback sheets and line with the key at the bottom of the sheet just so that we know how many presentations and open doors we're getting. And before lunch, it's good to aim for around 100 to 120 doors knocked. Then lunch is usually half free, so we knock our last door, then take off our uniform and head back to the car to have lunch as a team. Once break is over, we grab our stuff, walk back to the start of our area, put our uniform on, and then start our second rounds at 4.30. When it gets to around 7 p.m., it's usually when we might be coming to the end of our second rounds. So we walk back to the start of our area to do a third round of zeros. The reason we do two to three laps is so that we're more efficient with the area and we can get at least 70% open doors. Then it's coming to the end of the day, which hopefully at this point will have managed to inspire five to 10 really amazing supporters. And we knock our last door at nine or 8.30 in winter, cover or take off our uniform and then walk back to the car. Once all the team has arrived, we travel back to the team house. And if you're a passenger, you can do your callback sheet in the car. That's just where you count up your figures from the day. So doors knocked, opened and presentations including how many supporters you've got and how much you've raised. You pass this on to the team leader so that they can store the callback sheet and send the figures to their manager as well. Then when we get into the house, we put our uniform away. The first thing we all do is make sure the supporters on our PDAs have been sent and put our PDAs on charge. So it's good to double check this by pressing the lock button as we don't want a dead PDA the next day. Then we'll mark off our area on the map. This is really important it's just so we don't go back to the same area that we've knocked already. Then we do a callback sheet analysis or underperformance journal, which is a chance to analyse what went well in the day and what we can improve on. Then that is it. We are done for the day. It's nice to have a meal together, watch a film, but ultimately it's the time where we can relax and make sure we get a good night's sleep in preparation for the next day. That is a day in the life of a fundraiser.